I think this is the best yet. It is gripping. I had a lot of moments where I, was, where I read the script going, <gasps> you are a little anxious when you, because now, I mean, you've been on this show for so long, you kind of want to be there to the end. You flick through to the end of every script, and then you're like, I lived. It seems to be highly anticipated. Shock's already in episode one. Ain't gonna go into it, ain't gonna give it away, but them's the facts. Nobody's safe. So anything can happen, and it will happen. HBO viewers in Latin America, welcome to the Game of Thrones season six premiere. These are really the moments when we can get together. It's like coming to a great party. They hand these out to the press. Can you find yourself? I hope I'm here. This is a spoiler. No, you died. Oh, shit. that's why I'm not here. What would you say? Are you a hero or villain in season six? Uh, hero. He's a quiet hero. I don't actually see him as a villain. Victim. To me, he's a hero. I think he's just a human being. Oh, he's a villain, yeah. He's the worst. I will tell you. Tick, tick, tick. The stakes are really high. A lot of characters who've been separated are starting to come together. Everything that happens from now on in hasn't happened in the books. So everyone's on their toes. John is apparently gone, right? So what is Sam going to do? What about apparently gone? No, John is gone, but Sam doesn't know about it. He's off. He's in love. He's got a family. Bran is doing some cool stuff this season. We're seeing his powers in a way we never have before. Well, what about Arya? Is she going to be blind forever? I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's all up to her, you know? I mean, I blinded her because she didn't obey me. One of the things that is most wonderful about the show you've got coming up in season six is that you've got a lot of very, very empowered women. You've got these characters that have come around in sort of huge arcing ways most of which are female protagonists. I made it. You made it. Well, humiliated and naked in front of everybody, but Cersei made it. Quite alive. Right. I consider that a victory. Is revenge in the menu? I'd say it could be in there. <laughs> I choose violence. You are all alone now. Where are the dragons? Where's the hell? Where are your saviors? I know. Who knows? I'm going to have to try and find her as quick as possible. And we've kind of misplaced our queen on a dragon. It starts off pretty scary. Every single episode is like so jam-backed. We've got more in one episode of this season than we have in like three seasons combined. I need three words that we can use to describe this season, but they have to start with the initials of Game of Thrones. So G-O-T. Gargantuan. Great. A gruesome. Word with a no. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh my god. Operatic. Tantalizing. Traumatic. Tyranny. Triumphant. And terrifying. Great original television. Game of Thrones fans in Latin America. Oh, I love Latin America. Hello, HBO Latin America. I'll give you a VIP pass. Come tune into Game of Thrones. You don't want to miss it. You are going to be overwhelmed and traumatized, without doubt. Good luck. And thanks for watching.